Yeah, we want to talk about modular automation today and in specific the topic MTP. But I want to start with a, with a picture from the past. Maybe you, you know that picture. Yeah? So in the past it was horrible to connect uh, devices to, to a PC, so it was really crazy. But then there was a, was a revolution, and maybe you know the answer, you saw the answer, but there is a, was a revolution which, which makes life much more easier. So it, was, it is at the moment, or in our current life, very easy to connect a, a printer or a mouse to, to, a, to a PC. It doesn't matter if it is on, from which vendor, so that's really easy. And this is USB. And we very often have in the industries same same issues, same problems. So it is difficult to to connect uh, machines or equipment for different vendors so, uh, to to overlaying system. And but we need that. We need that in the future. We see the restrictions of the of the supply chains. We see the geopolitical. Uh, uh, challenges, so we need flexible production and we need to scale depending on the market situation. And here comes uh, MTP in the game. MTP is a vendor neutral standard, a vendor neutral description of equipment or modules. So it doesn't matter if it is from Siemens or, or other vendors, so you get a vendor neutral description of the machine, which allows you to integrate that machines in a, in a fast way. MTP is hosted since uh, 2023 by the PI uh, and will be also pushed to the, uh, to the IEC as a, as, a, as a standard. The benefit of the standard or why the standard is so, so um, accepted in, in different industries is the amount of stakeholders which participate in the standard. So we see here plant owners, we see uh, machine builders, but we also see DCS, um, SCADA vendors, which, which participate in writing that standard, but also develop the products uh, in the way that you can use it in your environments. But let's, let's have a look on the, on the stakeholders and the workflow, which, which, which is available in the MTP contents. So we have on the left-hand side, the machine builders or the OEMs, which um, build machines and in our use case they are using the tier portal and our Simatic uh, products for, for the automation and also the, the local HMI. So they start programming their machines uh, with some libraries from our side or our own solutions and then they do the testing, the commissioning and uh, finishing the machine. And then they are able to create an MTP file based on the engineering for the PLC and the local HMI. And that's then the things what would be used on the, on the customer and the system integrator side. So what happens then? We have here on the right hand side now the process orchestration layer. Keep this in mind, process orchestration layer in FTP standard is a SCADA system or a DCS system or a, also MAS system. Now the machine builder ship the machine to the, to the plant and also share the MTP file with the system integrator. And now the magic happens. With a few clicks the SCADA systems generate automatically the connection to the machine, the tags, the visualization, as well as the link to the, to the batch and recipe system. And then we see the same magic as with USB. You plug the uh, machine to the, to the network and you are directly able to monitor and control the machine in the, in the SCADA or DCS system. Um, as you said before, it was strongly driven by the chemical and pharmaceutical industry, also by the pharmaceutical industry in specific, because they have this, this uh, supply chain issues, also the um, ge geopolitical risks at the moment, so they needed that technology. But at the end of the day, also other industries have the challenge to integrate machines, modules, equipments in a fast way. In the hydrogen industry, so that's a new hype, but also in water, wastewater, we are dealing with package integration for more than more than 20 years, so that's a, that's a thing. We as Siemens offer a broad portfolio in that direction, so we have enablements for, for OEMs with our tier portal and our Simatic portfolio, but also for the end customer, our DCS and SCADA systems. Here you see an overview of the, of the different products, so um, PEA, Process Equipment Assembly, also a very important wording in the MTP standard, stands for a package unit or a machine um, or also a equipment. And we have their different products. We have uh, the native approach based on the tier portal and the semantic environment. If you start on scratch in a greenfield, then you use that uh, components. 
And if you have existing equipment, what you want to integrate with MTP, you can also use our machine proxy app to enable non-MTP machines regarding MTP. But maybe let's focus on the SCADA environment today. I think that's also the, uh, the challenge of, uh, of today. Um, we have different, different SCADA solutions, also DCS solutions, but our SCADA solutions are um, WinC Unified as well as WinC UA. So we started also to deal with the MTP files in the integration. So we want to import MTP files and we want to generate here the content of our, our SCADA. What is here very important for us to be really compliant with the standards, so to be really up to date and also to validate the MTP files in the right way so that we really ensure our products are working in a compliant way. So that's really important for us. So we are using the same components, so we not do this implementation for each and every system. So our idea is to have one component which, which we reuse to ensure really that connectivity across the systems. Yeah, what is, what is important on the SCADA level? I mean, there are some statistics, um, reduction of uh, engineering efficiency, but also increasing the flexibility. You see the figures here, but what happens in the SCADA system? So we at first need an option or a feature to import the MTP files and to validate the MTP files. Then we have a type management. Um, what does it mean? At the end of the MTP file is a type descriptor of a machine or a unit. Very similar as with USB. I mean, a USB drive was also not a description of an instance of a mouse, so it's a, it's a description of the type of a device. And we also need in our systems, and this is what we provide, also an opportunity to deal with the instances, so the PR, the machine instances. So we create, based on the types, at the end of the day, uh, machines in the SCADA systems. And what we also need is, we need features to generate the whole content in the SCADA system. So the connections, the text, the pictures, as well as the link to the batch systems. We, as I said, started with WinSys Unified, but now we also started uh, a POC with the colleagues from, from Austria regarding WinSys UA. So what, is, what are we doing? So we have here a new context menu in WinSys UA where you can say, okay, import MTP. Then we will see it also later in the live demo. We have the chance to, so we have a studio where you are able to maintain your types, to manage your types, to add, remove, upgrade, but also an option to uh, deal with your instances, so at the end of the day. Then we automatically generate the, the connection, the tags, and also the pictures. And then, that's the magic, directly after a few clicks, you are able to monitor and control your machine. So that's the cool thing on MTP. I prepared a live demo, let's see if it is really like that, so uh, we will see. Yeah, what, what happens here now? So we have here the WinCUA, so we have here the context menu, MTP import, so we click to that and here we are able to add these kind of MTP files. And it doesn't matter if it is from Siemens or Yokugawa or ABB, the, the, the type is standardized and you can import it. We have here an option to view the content, so we see the, the graphical um, represents of the machine, the control modules, as well as the services. And now let's see the magic. As I said, the MTP file is a type. And when we do the instancing of the, of the MTP file, then we create really a machine in the SCADA system. It was very fast now. And here we see now the MTP types, so Anna view, with the instances, as well as the connection and the addressing. So we generated the whole tech environment. And what we also did here is uh, that we generated here the pictures out of the MTP file and here you see now the runtime and you are directly able to monitor and control the machine. What was the idea here is to make it flexible. Yeah? So we want to use the flexibility and the open architecture of WinSys UA to really to be able to um, provide a design which really fits to your requirements. Huh? So that's, that's the idea. What is really important also to know in the MTP, it doesn't matter if it is a machine from, from Siemens or ABP, the look and feel is driven by the SCADA system. So it's the same across the different machines. What do we offer or why we are the, the right partner in that uh, domain for you? 
Um, we have a strong commitment regarding the standard, so we are also part of the working group with colleagues, so we also drive the standard. We offer solutions for the OEM. As I said, the PLCs, um, the, the engineering software. We also have SCADA solutions, as we saw today, so WINS Unified as well as WINS UA. And depending on your, on, your, on your requirements, you need to choose the right one. So flexible production is coming reality, and we think we are the right partner for that. Thank you.